This is a soap bubble. It's perfectly beautiful and beautifully perfect. So let's talk about three reasons why that's the case. Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian. I'm a structural engineer, and I've taught structures at MIT, Harvard, and RISD, and I use soap bubbles in my teaching. So let's go over why they're so amazing. First of all, the soap bubble carries the forces in tension, and tension is the most materially efficient way of carrying force. It's what makes soap bubbles so delicate. And just so you know, the soap with the water in soap bubbles protects the water from the air around it. It helps the bubble remain stable. The second reason is that whenever we have tension in a structure, somewhere there has to be compression to balance it out. Thank you, Isaac Newton, for observing and pointing this out to all of us. So where is the compression with a soap bubble? Well, it's the air inside the soap bubble that is compressed a little more than the air outside the soap bubble. So the equilibrium, the balance of forces, is tension in the soap bubble film and compression in the air it contains. And the third most amazing reason why soap bubbles are beautifully perfect is that they find the minimum surface area for what they need to do. In the case of a soap bubble, it's the minimum surface area for a volume. That's what exists as a sphere geometrically, but a soap bubble becomes that just because of the way it finds its form to distribute minimum tension efficiently through its shape. So how might we use this and learn from it? Well, if soap bubbles can find a minimum surface area, then that means we can use them to find shapes that we might want to build out of material that carries tension, like a tensile membrane, a tent, for example. And this has famously been used by Fry Otto many decades ago as he was developing forms to create tensile membrane pavilions that, similar to the beauty of a soap bubble, are themselves geometrically pure and wonderful and light and airy. And that is still the, essentially the way we analyze these structures today when we design tensile membranes. Which of course means we can learn from soap bubbles to design better structures to use materials in a more efficient way as we build and design going forward. If you like this video or any of the videos that I've been doing recently about structures and material and form and design thinking, like and subscribe. See ya.